Well, welcome back everyone and it's time for Sunday brunch here in the Hard Rock Kitchen this morning and joining us is grill master Mike Watts from Longhorn Steakhouse here in Tulsa. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. We're glad to have you. So what are you going to make today? Well, we're going to talk about some steaks opportunities. Okay. Uh, as you can see right here, we have a eight ounce filet, which is going to be your most lean tender cut of meat that you could have. Very nice, obviously. So tender you can almost cut it with a fork. Yeah. Then you have a six ounce sirloin. Okay. This is going to be a very juicy tender, flavored steak. Right. And then we have our signature outlaw ribeye. The big one, yes. Bone in. <laughs> Uh, you can notice all the marbling, the white that runs through here. Mm -hmm. This is going to make the steak super flavorful. I was going to say, what does that do to the flavor? It, it brings the flavor out. It acts with the bone to just really make this steak pop out. This mm. is our signature number one moving steak in Longhorn. I bet. Yeah, it's a yeah, you're making steak. me hungry now this morning. I so. am. <laughs> well, we always suggest if you're cooking indoors or outdoors, uh -huh. uh, depending on what you're doing, if you're doing outdoors, try to keep your grill about 550 degrees. You want okay. it hot, hot, hot. Right. All right. If you're cooking indoors, you're gonna have to keep it down a little bit. So try to get around 425. Okay. Spray it with a canola oil, some kind of oil that's a little less smoke. Mm -hmm. Rub it around in the towel to keep it from sticking. Okay. All right. What we have is a seasoning blend that Longhorn uses, which is signature. Okay. Now you can make something similar to this at home. What kinds of things would you put in it? Um, I would start off with a little granulated garlic, garlic powder, uh, some fresh cracked red uh, peppers okay. and kosher salt. And that just makes it taste that just that makes much it better. Taste yeah. that much better. <laughs> when it comes to seasoning, be generous. Give it okay. some seasoning, okay? So put quite a bit on there. Right, and rub it in. Longhorn is famous for our bold steaks. Mm -hmm. We want that thing to just pop out, <laughs> you know? Especially if you cook it on a flame grill outside, the seasoning is gonna fall to the grates a lot and you lose that flavor profile. Right. Right? You just wanna make sure it's good and covered. Right. And so how long would you cook it like on top of the stove? On a stove, I would say you're going to flip it every three to four minutes. You're going to turn it over if you're cooking inside. Uh -huh. If you're outside on a grill, you're going to go from a 45 degree angle to a 90 degree angle to give it that nice diamond mark. Okay. Right. Yeah. And then flip the it over. There, yeah. Yeah. The main thing when cooking a steak is not to puncture it. Okay. Okay. So you don't want to be using a fork to flip it. That lets all the natural juices run out. Hmm. Okay. So what we highly suggest is using tongs, something that you can grab the steak and turn the whole steak. Stays all in one piece. Stays and, all yeah. in one piece, but every little puncture hole you put in that, the natural juices run out. That's when you get a dry steak. And that's what you don't want. Yeah. That's what you don't want. So if you're going to use it, uh, use tongs to always turn your steak. If you're using the outside, use the long tongs. Yes. That way you can watch any flame burst. And be safe. Yeah. You. <laughs> Safety is always, always important, right? Well, Mike, thank you for doing this this morning. We're going to come back here in just a moment and check back in as he's going to keep cooking and make this place smell really good. All right.